Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. This is Ms. Sophia Abbasi. And our topic for today is literary devices. Interesting when you read, useful when you write. A figure of speech is a rhetorical device that achieves a special effect by using words in a distinctive way. Figurative language, language that has meaning beyond the literal meaning, also known as figures of speech. Simile is an expression comparing one thing to another using the words like or as. Examples, he ran like a cat, lightly and quietly. Her blue mood passed as quickly as an afternoon rain shower. Metaphor is a comparison of two unlike things without using the words like or as. Examples. He was a statue waiting to hear the news. She was a mother hen trying to take care of everyone around her. Hyperbole is an obvious exaggeration or overstatement. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Personification is when a writer gives human qualities to animals or objects. Examples, my car drank the gasoline in one gulp. The cat laughed. The newspaper headline glared at me. Onomatopoeia is a word that imitates the sound it represents. For example, tick-tock, whoosh. Imagery is when a writer invokes the five senses. For example, the smell reminded him of rotting tomatoes. The fence was uneven like baby teeth growing awkwardly in. Also a simile. Foreshadowing, important hints that an author drops to prepare the reader for what is to come and help the reader anticipate the outcome. Example, a pipe is going to burst, but before it does, the author writes a scene where the family notices a small dark spot on the ceiling but ignores it. Alliteration is the repetition of same consonant sound in words occurring near one another. Examples, Peter picked a peck of pickled peppers. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Come and clean the chaos in your closet. The big bad bear scared all the baby bunnies by the bushes. Shut the shutters before the banging sound makes you shudder. Go and gather the green leaves on the grass. Allusion is a casual reference to a famous historical or literary figure or event. For example, if it doesn't stop raining, I'm going to build an ark. My sister has so many pets, I'm going to call myself Old MacDonald. I was surprised his nose was not growing like Pinocchio's. When she lost her job, she acted like a Scrooge and refused to buy anything that wasn't necessary. Chocolate was her Achilles heel. Paradox reveals something true, which at first seems contradictory. Examples. He was a brave coward. When you win all the time, you lose. You can save money by spending it. I know one thing, but I know nothing. This is the beginning of the end. Deep down, you are really shallow. Symbolism is using an object or action that means something more than its literal meaning. Examples. Pink. The fight against breast cancer. The Statue of Liberty. Freedom. Roses stand for romance. Violets represent shyness. Lilies stand for beauty and temptation. Chrysanthemums represent perfection. Idiom is an expression with a meaning different from the literal meaning of the words. Examples, I got cold feet before my speech. That means I was scared. My boss gave me the green light. That means my boss said yes. Draw the curtains. That means close the curtains. Put the lights out. That means turn off the lights. Oxymoron. Two opposite terms. Examples. A peaceful war. Dark sunshine. Tragic comedy. Unbiased opinion. 
virtual reality, definite maybe, original copies. Euphemism is a polite word or phrase used in place of one that may be too direct, unpleasant, or embarrassing. For example, pass away instead of using die. Let go instead of fired. Pre-owned or pre-loved instead of used. Pregnancy termination instead of abortion. On the streets instead of homeless. Differently abled instead of handicapped or disabled. Disabled or handicapped to physically challenged. Fat to vertically challenged. Ignorant to mentally challenged. Poor to working class. Cliché is an expression that has lost its power or originality from overuse. Examples. Talking a mile a minute. Quiet as a mouse. Easy as a pie. They all lived happily ever after. Read between the lines. Fall head over heels. Waking up on the wrong side of the bed. Pun is a humorous play on words, often involving double meanings. Examples, a man stole a case of soap from the corner store. He made a clean getaway. I really wanted a camouflage shirt, but I couldn't find one. A bicycle can't stand on its own because it is too tired. A pessimist's blood type is always be negative. Anaphora, in writing or speech, the deliberate repetition of the first part of the sentence in order to achieve the artistic effect is known as anaphora. Example, every day, every night, in every way, I'm getting better and better. My life is my purpose. My life is my goal. My life is my inspiration. Assonance. This figure of speech is similar to alliteration because it also involves repetition of sounds, but this time its vowel sounds are being repeated. Assonance creates internal rhyming within phrases or sentences by repeating vowel sounds that are the same. Examples on a proud round cloud in white high nigh. Fire at the private eye hired to pry in my business. It beats as it sweeps, as it cleans. I must confess that in my quest, I felt depressed and restless. Apostrophe. In literature, apostrophe is a figure of speech sometimes represented by an exclamation, such as, oh, a writer or speaker using apostrophe speaks directly to someone who is not present or is dead or speaks to an inanimate object. For example, is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Feet, don't fail me now. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So this is the end of this presentation. Thank you very much. I hope you understand. Allah Hafiz.